So we're using a mixed yield tunnel boring machine on the tunneling phase of the project. It's considered to be the Rolls Royce of TBMs in terms of the technology, um, and it works hand in hand with a slurry treatment plant. Bentonite is a clay and it's mixed in with water to create slurry. So the slurry is used to act as a transport medium for the excavated spoil from the TBM. And we also use a slurry to assist in the excavation process itself at the front of the machine. So the slurry treatment plant is required to separate the spoil that's coming out from uh, the TBM and it's also used to produce new slurry to facilitate the tunnelling process. It caters for two tunnel boring machines and it will work parallel to the uh, TBM. So whenever the TBM is operating, the slurry treatment plant will be operating and we also run the slurry treatment plant when the TBM is stopped and that is to continue that filtration process and separation process. We have a, quite a large team running the slurry treatment plant. Um, we have people operating the various systems. We also have specialist engineers who will ensure that the bentonite's being mixed and created to meet the properties that we require to tunnel. So between the slurry treatment plant and the tunnel and the TBM, we have quite large pipes. One pipe in pumping fresh slurry and the pipe going out has the slurry mixed with the tunnel spoil from the front of the machine, the cutter head. The slurry treatment plant contains several stages uh, for separating excavated spoil. On top of the building you have what we call trummels. It's the first stage of the separation process and the trummels are used to take out clays before it enters the rest of the treatment process. The trummels work by spinning the slurry. They're essentially large drums that spin the clay out, a bit like a washing machine. Inside the building we have shakers and hydrocyclones which take out the next size of material, so that could be rock, gravel or sand. The slurry then enters the filter presses and the filter presses are used to extract the residual material that's been separated. The slurry then gets treated for various properties and it also gets injected with fresh bentonite uh, so that the slurry performs in a way that's required to facilitate the excavation of the tunnel.